What up, dog? Hey, man. Um, you're with uh, Will and I. We're just uh, recording a toe fop. We just have a quick question for yeah. you because we're a bit confused. If I, I them before when you talk about Pennyworth. I never really thought about it. I was like, yeah, that's just a fucking <laughs> All right, let's not stay stuck in the past, Michael. We've got more pressing issues. If I was to say Michael flatly to you, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I think the Irish dancing and doesn't even want to have sex straight after performing or something. Okay. Perfect. Sorry. Okay. You just thank the you. Question. We've just spent 15 minutes on Michael Flatley because we cannot find anything online about him having sex within 10 minutes of coming off stage. Like, there's not even like a forum. There's post no. About it. It's like it, there's no. It's like it's been erased from the internet. Like we, our premise. Gotcha. Was, we think that like Richard Gere get gerbil, Michael Flatley sex immediately off stage, and we started to doubt that it was true. But do you know where it came from? Do you remember where you found the information? <laughs> where were you, Michael, when you found out that Michael Flatley has sex? <laughs> something that he put out himself. Yeah. But then why is there no... I reckon... Evidence of it. We just combed through, yeah. like, all these Michael Flatley... I read an entire article in the most expensive yes. Irish accent you've ever heard. <laughs> and he not once mentioned that he must have sex within 10 minutes of coming off stage. He talks about lots of other like yeah. you know, having being a pants man, but that specific fact doesn't there's no paper trail for it. Nothing. Yeah, I guess that old is it maybe like is it kind of uh I don't know why it's off the internet, but isn't it a little bit maybe kind of self advertising kind of thing? So kind of being like, Hey ladies, be by the stage door when I'm leaving and a bit like that. Yes, but how did, we find, how did we find out about <laughs> I'm, it? I'm not though. a lady. Like, we weren't <laughs> like, hanging around about at it? Michael Flatley's gig. Like, how do we all know this? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. We want to answer, <laughs> Michael. Brand have a similar kind of philosophy as well. I'm sure you would find <laughs> Russell Brand. That stuff would be online. Like Will said, he just Will just typed in Richard Gear Gerbil, and there was like a like hundred entries, hundred pages. But we have done like a deep, like we've reworded the Google search. Mm. We've, we can't find anything about that specific incident or not even a quote from him saying that I must have sex within 10 minutes of getting off stage. I well, am... there was an American comic who made the point about the gerbil thing and he said he actually buys it by the fact that he goes, look, if you're rich gear and you've been married for years to, a, you know, Cindy, Cindy Crawford, like, you know, absolute most beautiful of all. Mm. And then you go, well, I've done that. I've climbed over it. Like, might as well do a gerbil. Well, there's apparently there's a whole Wikipedia page about it. There's a, a, literally a Wikipedia page on gerbiling. It's a thing. <laughs> And like this, I've got so much information about it. I have run out. I've gone through Google, Googling uh, Michael Flatley having sex straight after stage, and I've run out of pages. Google's given up. Google says there's You've no it. there's no more entries, and I cannot find any reference to it. How did I become the point guy then for Michael Flatley? Oh, because we just thought like someone who has a we general just needed to know knowledge. if other people remembered it. <laughs> you weren't our go-to for Michael Flatley. Well, you're also a Michael. Like that, I thought yeah. that's not bad. Yeah, is Ch 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 Chamberlain's Irish, isn't it? <laughs> uh, while we've got you, Michael, we should promote that uh, we're doing a, a live show with you and, and Adam, a uh, post-grand final, aren't we? We are. We are doing it at Morris House. Uh, it's going to be 4 p.m. on the Sunday after the grand final. Oh, who will it be? Who will, who will we be talking about? And with losing club supporter. Will we be ripping shit out of <laughs> <laughs> it? dot com. Uh, just type in um, two guys from the car for junk time uh, and actually, uh, and I can put them on sale. Actually, I'll right up there, up this phone. Okay, and we'll put a uh, link in the episode description. All right, thanks, Jambo. Come on, have fun. See ya. Well, that's reassuring, in a, in like some sense, right? That you know, we didn't just imagine it, but I'm just. This is needs to be investigated. Like we need to, can we launch like a, some kind of royal commission into why this well-known bit of trivia about Michael Flatley does not exist? There is no, there is no trail of it online. It must have been scrubbed. I mean, I can't. But why that information? Why that? But not like all. There's a the, lot of the, bad. The there's still heaps of bad stuff about, You know, that one specific thing, and he doesn't seem like he's like from that interview. 
I mean, that exclusive audio that we had from him earlier <laughs> in the show, that he is particularly ashamed of his past. So why just that one detail? Or why did that, why do we all think that if it wasn't said by him? Like, was that an Australian childhood rumour that went around or something? Like, is that just a weird... Should we call, da- should we call Dave Anthony? Oh, I mean, I mean, it's only what so it's like it's it's five it's five p.m. in the sun. Let's just call okay. Dave. All right. Hello, Dave. Uh, Charlie and Will recording a tofu. How are you? Oh, oh man, hello. <laughs> hey, we've got a question. Just a cold question. Just answer us. Mm. When you hear the name Michael Flatley, the Lord of the Dance, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, Irish people. <laughs> okay, second thing that comes to mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, is, I can't, uh... Is there any tidbit about him, like any factoid, any particular thing should, yeah. that when you hear the name Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance, is there anything that immediately comes to mind? I mean, I wish there was, but no. Mm. Nothing Interesting. Okay, okay, so if I told you that there was a very famous mm. rumour about Michael Flatley that when he got off stage, he was so charged up from being the Lord of the Dance that he had to have sex within 10 minutes of stepping off stage. <laughs> have you ever heard that before? No. Okay. This is a mystery. This is, and this wait. is something, I am a person that would hear this. Yeah, well, that's that was our assumption. That's why we called you because Will and I, we were talking about Michael Flatley and that, mm. that bit of information came up, which we just accepted as public knowledge on yep. par with, say, the Richard Gere Gerbil. Gerbil. To us, that is an equivalent oh. that it was, and we looked up Richard Gear Gerbil, and there is literally thousands of entries on the internet dedicated to either bunking or debunking, including an entire Wikipedia page that is dedicated to gerbiling. It's a thing, right? When we looked up Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance has sex 10 minutes after he got off stage, there was articles about Michael Flatley and his love of having sex with people. He is a self uh, yeah, he went on sex the road. Addict. He he was a sex addict, but there is no mention on the World Wide Web. I ran out of pages on Google. <laughs> Google gave up. There was not a way I could ask this question that would get a reference to it anywhere on Google. And so now Charlie and I cannot work out because we rang Michael Chamberlain live, another Australian. Like he he knew it immediately. That was the thing that he was thinking of. He so so is this an Australian specific? thing why is there no mention of it on the internet like where does this come from no i've never heard it It was something i would have immediately remembered if i heard of it because it's a great story it's like the nut bush or arj barker only popular in australia Australia. Uh, all right, Dave. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you for, for, for your time. I hope yeah, you're well. Of course. And, uh, we'll, I am. We'll, we'll update you on our investigations yeah. into the Lord of the Dance. Thank you. Uh, and I don't know if it's the right podcast, but go Giants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, awesome. All right. All right thanks, Dave. Down. No, I've hung up on him. All right. That's okay. Fine. <laughs>